we're going to make a custom list in Rise 360. Uh, normally, you can make a bulleted list with numbers. That's one of the, the blocks. But what if we want to change those bullets into icons? Go through the options. There's, there's really no option to do it. Uh, you can, and I'm not even sure what this uh, that little extra options does. Something with the, the padding, I guess. I'm not even sure. I'm clicking it. Doesn't doesn't do anything. It, maybe if someone knows what that is, let me know. Um, but okay. Let, we're, I'm going to use a custom block. I've already saved this. I'll recommend if you're doing a uh, custom list, save this as a block. I give you all the code you need. And here's my save block. I just have three items with the icons and I'll show you how to get those icons in there. These icons are from icons8.com. Awesome service. I just started using it uh, when uh, Tim, Tim St. Clair posted about uh, uh, styling your, your list with icons. Here's Here's what's going on. We're getting a little technical here, but all we're doing is just replacing that, that image. You can see in the code here, my image. So I've got the list item, the LI. Inside the LI, I've got the spans. I, I just copied uh, two additional list items. So inside each list item, it's got two two spans one has the icon the other has the text and when you go into editing HTML you need to click right click inspect and then edit as HTML when you're making any any HTML edits or in the debugger it's a little a little easier I'll show you how uh, okay so this is icons 8 they got tons of icons when you click on the icon you want I like this uh, this forklift here um, and it's got tons of functionality. I'm not even going to get into all of it. I'm just going to steal this little icon here. You can see now I'm using my debugger here. Also, it's got two links to icons. There's a small one and then a slightly larger one. That's all I need. I'm just going to copy this link here. Copy that link to that image, the two X image. It's not actually that big. It's still pretty, pretty small, but it's big enough for what I'm doing. If you go with the debugger here, I'm just going to replace that link from my old blue icon. Boom. You can see I just inserted that forklift icon. That's the inline style. That, that's the key to this whole thing. They're just little inline styles. Now I am creating a dependency on icons eight, but icons eight, it's always going to be there, so I think it's a pretty safe uh, dependency. Uh, and how about let's change my last icon here? I can see the inline style there. My debugger helps me see that. And by the way, don't click on the ads. That, that's why Icons 8 is free. It's got tons of ads. You can easily accidentally click on one of their ads. But okay, I like this this green icon, a circuit. Again, I'm using my debugger. I'm going to get that 2x image. I'm going to copy the direct link to that image. Going back into Rise here. See my inline style. The debugger helps helps me edit it. I'm just going to paste in that, that link. I'm just replacing that link that starts with HTTPS. Now I've got five icons and I could save this as a new new block template remember to hit preview make sure those changes got saved and now I've got uh, custom custom icons in in rise and I did not have to modify the exported files uh, remember to check mobile always um, and also you, you can uh, get the code from theme 360 that's my website Whoops, there's my admin, didn't mean to do that. Okay, and so right now it's the first uh, theme component, or this is actually like a custom block template. 
Uh, also, if you're using Icons 8, check out their licensing. They want you to link somewhere to their site. You can put that in like a site credit section uh, within your, your course.